Did you know that behind every tiny Brussels sprout bud or every single walnut on your dining table lies the relentless dedication and hard work of farmers? So how exactly do they manage to cultivate and harvest these foods while maintaining such exceptional quality? From the very first seeds, carefully sown in the soil, to the meticulous processing stages, each and every crop carries within it an admirable and fascinating story. Join us on this journey as we uncover these incredible stories in today's episode. Our journey begins in the lush green fields of Brussels sprout. These charming little vegetables, well known for their vibrant color and high nutritional value, are cool weather crops that require patience and meticulous care to cultivate. Brussels sprouts thrive in well-drained soil and cool climates, making late autumn the ideal time for harvest. During the entire growing season, dedicated farmers carefully monitor their crops to ensure they consistently receive the necessary nutrients and sufficient water for optimal growth. When harvest season arrives, the fields are filled with tall, sturdy plants, each bearing clusters of small sprouts. Harvesting Brussels sprouts is both an art and a science. The plants grow on straight stalks with tight clusters of round sprouts attached. Farmers typically cut the entire plant and feed it into specialized machines that quickly and efficiently separate the sprouts. Nowadays, some advanced harvesting machinery is designed to move autonomously across the fields, cutting the stalks and processing the sprouts simultaneously. These machines use sharp cutting blades, conveyor systems, and automated sorting units to ensure high productivity and uniform quality. After the harvest, the Brussels sprouts are transported to processing facilities where they are thoroughly cleaned and meticulously sorted. Each sprout undergoes a quality inspection, with damaged ones removed to ensure that only the best products reach the market. The sorting process is now enhanced by advanced optical sorting technology. Modern optical sensors use light and high resolution cameras to scan each sprout, detecting and distinguishing color, size, and even the smallest imperfections. Thanks to this technology, the speed and accuracy of removing substandard sprouts have been significantly improved. people, the journey ends here, as the Brussels sprouts are carefully packaged and transported to supermarkets. However, a significant portion of the harvest is set aside for freezing or canning. These preservation processes require blanching to maintain the vibrant color and nutritional value of the sprouts. In the end, they are rapidly frozen or carefully canned, ensuring they are ready to deliver flavor and essential nutrients to meals enjoyed by families across the globe. Mm -hmm. 
Next in our journey, we turn to the vast walnut orchards. Walnut trees are a testament to the art of sustainable agriculture as they take several years to mature and begin bearing fruit. However, the wait is well worth it as these majestic trees yield abundant harvests every autumn. Walnuts are typically cultivated in temperate and subtropical regions, with California being a prime example. Additionally, countries like China, Iran, Turkey, and Ukraine are also major walnut producers. With growing global demand, annual production now reaches millions of tons, serving not only as a staple food source, but also playing a significant role in critical industries such as medicine and food processing. Harvesting walnuts is a dynamic and synchronized process that requires a combination of experience, technique, and modern technology. When the walnuts ripen and their green outer husks begin to split, farmers recognize this as the golden time to begin the harvest. Typically, a mature walnut tree can produce between 30 to 50 kilograms of walnuts, depending on the variety and growing conditions. To optimize productivity, specialized machines, commonly referred to as shakers, are used. These machines firmly grip the tree trunks and vibrate them vigorously, causing a large number of ripe walnuts to fall to the ground in a short period. Notably, modern machines can integrate systems that move along tree rows, simultaneously shaking the trunks and collecting the fallen nuts directly, ensuring cleanliness and high efficiency. With the aid of technology, an average farm can harvest several tons of walnuts daily, depending on the size of the orchard and the number of trees, significantly saving time and labor compared to manual methods. After being harvested from the orchard, walnuts are transported to the processing facility to begin their treatment. Here they are placed on conveyor belts where they undergo a process to remove impurities and have their shells separated using modern machinery. Moist and green walnuts are transferred into metal drying bins with each batch processed separately to maintain uniformity. Once dried to a standard moisture level of 8%, the walnuts are moved into storage bins awaiting further processing. Before production, samples from each batch are taken to evaluate the kernel quality, color, and edible yield ratio. When customers place an order, the walnuts are processed according to their requirements, either as in-shell walnuts or kernels. For the kernels, walnuts are shelled, screened to remove any remaining shell fragments, and sorted by size using laser sorting machines. Next, the kernels undergo manual quality inspection to eliminate defects and ensure they meet the highest standards. Approved kernels are then packaged, sealed, labeled with the production date, and scanned through an x-ray system to ensure no contaminants are present. For in-shell walnuts, they are packed in 50-pound bags, palletized, and securely wrapped before being transported and distributed to the market.
As this video journey comes to an end, we hope you've gained a deeper understanding of how these foods are harvested and processed. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more fascinating content about agriculture. See you in the next video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of our farming documentary series. Today, we will take an in-depth look at the fascinating world of date palm harvesting, focusing on the use of modern shaking machines and the advanced techniques involved in packing dates. Join us as we explore the entire journey of Phoenix Dactylifera, commonly known as the date or date palm. Phoenix Dactylifera, a flowering plant species in the palm family Arcaceae, is cultivated for its edible sweet fruit. Although its place of origin is unknown due to long cultivation, it probably originated from lands around Iraq. The species is widely cultivated and has become naturalized in many tropical and subtropical regions worldwide. The process of cultivating date palms begins with selecting high quality seeds or offshoots from mature date palms. Offshoots are preferred as they ensure the genetic traits of the parent tree are carried forward. These offshoots are carefully planted in well-prepared soil, rich in nutrients. The ideal soil for date palms is sandy loam, which provides good drainage, essential for healthy root growth. Date palms require a hot and dry climate with plenty of sunlight. They thrive in temperatures ranging from 25 DEC to 40 DEC, 77 degrees to 104 D. Irrigation is crucial, especially during the initial years of growth. Farmers often use drip irrigation systems to provide consistent moisture while conserving water. Date palm trees typically bloom in the spring, producing flower clusters called inflorescences from the leaf axils. There are two types of date palm trees, male and female. Male trees produce small, white, fragrant flowers, while female trees produce larger, cream-colored flowers. Pollination is a crucial step for date palm trees to bear fruit. In nature, wind primarily transfers pollen from male to female flowers. However, to ensure good yields and bountiful harvests, farmers often perform hand pollination. They collect pollen from male flowers and carefully dust it onto female flowers, increasing the chances of successful fertilization. One of the most exciting advancements in modern agricultural technology is the use of shaking machines for harvesting dates. Traditionally, harvesting dates was a labor-intensive process that involved climbing tall palms to hand-pick the fruit. Today, shaking machines have revolutionized this process, making it more efficient and less labor-intensive. Once harvested, the dates are transported to processing facilities where they undergo several stages of cleaning, sorting, and packing. The cleaning process involves washing the dates to remove dust and any residues.
start out after cleaning, the dates are sorted based on size, color, and quality. High quality dates are then packed using modern packing machines that ensure the fruit is preserved in optimal conditions. The packing process often includes vacuum sealing or using modified atmosphere packaging map to extend the shelf life of the dates. This is especially important for dates destined for export markets as it ensures the fruit remains fresh during transportation. In 2023, the global export of dates reached new heights with countries like Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Iran leading the market. According to recent statistics, Egypt alone exported over 200,000 metric tons of dates, generating significant revenue for the country. Saudi Arabia and Iran followed closely, each exporting around 150,000 metric tons. The advanced agricultural practices and modern technology employed in date cultivation and processing have played a crucial role in meeting the growing global demand. Countries have invested heavily in research and development to improve yield, quality, and sustainability in date farming. Another challenge is the need for skilled labor. While shaking machines and other technologies have reduced the reliance on manual labor, skilled workers are still needed to operate the machinery and manage the farms effectively. Training programs and capacity building initiatives are essential to address this need. Governments and agricultural organizations play a crucial role in supporting date palm farming. Policies and programs that promote research and development, provide financial assistance, and facilitate access to international markets are vital for the growth of the date palm industry. The future of date palm farming looks promising with continued advancements in agricultural technology and practices. Research is being conducted to develop new date palm varieties that are more resistant to pests and diseases, have higher yield potential, and can thrive in diverse climatic conditions. State palm farming is a remarkable journey that combines tradition with modern technology. From planting and nurturing the young palms to harvesting the sweet fruit using shaking machines, every step of the process reflects the dedication and innovation of farmers. The global market for dates continues to grow, driven by the fruit's popularity and the increasing efficiency of agricultural practices. As we conclude this episode, we hope you have gained a deeper appreciation for the intricate process of date palm farming. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful documentaries on modern agriculture. Until next time, happy farming!